What's going on everyone? As you guys know, I, I recently just did a video on the iPod Touch 7 Gen. It wasn't even recent, it was probably like a month and a half ago. And in that video, I talked about some leaks, some things that have been going on since the last iPod was released. Well, I've actually got my hands on the iPod Touch 6th generation and I got to play with it. I've pretty much owned every iPod Touch at this point. I went ahead and bought them. I haven't reviewed all of them yet, but I do currently own most of them. And with the 6th gen, I mean, I realized how crazy that thing is. I mean, it was a, a pretty big upgrade from the iPod Touch 5th gen, and I'm really curious as to see if Apple actually went ahead and did release a 7th gen iPod Touch. What could we see? You know, what could they add into it? And I'll tell you now, I mean, I talked a lot about the leaks that we've seen before. Um, some of them were within iOS 11. The Gold Master, there was some text in that code that said that you could potentially unlock your iPod with your face which could have been a like a potential face ID kind of thing for your iPod. We didn't see an iPod Touch being released with iOS 11, so that was kind of weird. The iPod Touch 6th Gen did get iOS 11 though, and it did get iOS 12 as well. But since then, like I said, not much was brought up or anything, and there was some iPods that were being registered as iPod Touch 7 Gens through iTunes, so that was pretty weird too. But as a whole, I mean, we really didn't see too much information going through about the iPod Touch 7 Gen, and I'll be 100% completely honest, I don't know if Apple will ever release one. I mean, it just is the climate that we're in and just kind of Apple kind of focusing on the iPhones and these other products that make them a lot of money. And one way I couldn't really see them releasing an iPod Touch, but in a whole different aspect, I could really see them releasing one as well. I mean, it's I would say I'm more so on the side of them not releasing it, but there's still a chance of them doing it. And the main reason I would probably like correspond that with would be Apple's stock price and their whole evaluation of their company right now. As you know, they were worth over a trillion dollars at one point. They did kind of go back down into the billion range. <laughs> still like 700 over 700 billion at this point and it is kind of interesting when you consider the fact that they were the most valuable company then they went down to i think number two three or four and it's not the end of the world it's not that crazy but i feel like at this point apple will have to release more products in order to kind of catch up and make room for more profit in the future i mean i'll give you an example with the mac pro they haven't updated that thing in forever but they're still selling in the apple store and it's the same thing with the ipod touch they're still selling it in the Apple store, so it's taking up valuable space in their stores. So why not go ahead, create another product, raise the prices a little bit, maybe decrease the price with the iPod Touch 6 Gen and just kind of sell them both and see what happens. It's not like they have to have like a whole crazy new release with it. And if they do release another product like that, who knows, maybe they could sell them a lot more of them than they thought. Maybe there's a huge demand for them and maybe they can make some money from it. So that's kind of where I get my idea from. It's like if they release more products, they could potentially make more money. Not always. Sometimes they make less money, but as long as they don't like over create products or anything like that, they don't have way more in stock than they need to. I think they could probably make a hit, maybe. So potentially, I think 2019 could be the year that Apple will go ahead and release a ton of new products in order to pretty much make more money. Now, not necessarily the same products, like I said. I think besides the iPhone SE 2, maybe the same iPhones as last year as well, but they're pretty much going to release some new products such as newer Beats headphones, battery charging cases, some new AirPods as well. So I just think they're going to release a lot more products. So here's the big problem with the iPod Touch. Okay, the whole series, I wouldn't even just go narrow it down to the iPod Touch, just iPods and MP3 players in general. It's the fact that our phones can store the same music that the iPods could. There's that same like chicken and the egg thing. It's like, yeah, the chicken is pretty much the iPod because it was so amazing and it like led Apple to being the crazy company that it is now. But the iPhone is like the egg because who knows, maybe without the iPod, we probably would have never gotten the iPhone. But phones in general are just so good now. And at a time when the iPods were actually released, a lot of people were storing their songs and storing their music and storing their pictures on their iPods because at the time the flip phones could not do or have the same amount of storage on it as the iPod. So that whole philosophy is completely switched now. Our phones have more storage than our iPods or MP3 players do. And you're not going to see a lot of people holding iPods or anything like that anymore because our phones can pretty much do what every single iPod is going to do. So that's one aspect of it. The other aspect is is that nobody's really downloading music anymore. Like nobody's going through and like, hey, did you download that one song? Did you download this? Nobody's like downloading music and storing it on their phones as often as they used to. I'm pretty sure iTunes has seen a pretty much a huge decrease in songs that were being bought and everything like that. However, on the complete flip side, I think more people are listening to music now than they ever have. And the reason being is, you know, you might ask, wait, how are people downloading less music, but they're listening to way more music? How is that even possible? 
The case is, is that streaming services like SoundCloud, Spotify, Apple Music, things like that, those are what people are using now, you know? And with an iPod, you can't really be on the go and listen to music versus if you're on your phone and you have like a data plan or something, you can actually go and listen to your music on the go and just not even have anything stored on your phone. You know, I still have 64 gigs on my phone. I have to upgrade it. For a lot of people, you might have a lot less. For a lot of people, you might have a lot more. So you kind of have to take that into consideration. Nobody wants to store music on a device anymore. And I think most of it is going to the streaming services like SoundCloud, Spotify, and Apple. So. The interesting is, is like I said, Apple has their own streaming service, Apple Music. So could it be that Apple could possibly release an iPod Touch with an emphasis on streaming? Now, I know that seems kind of weird, like how are you even going to do that? I think Apple could make something, and this is completely out of nowhere. I mean, I don't know how they would do it, but they could potentially release an iPod Touch with an emphasis on streaming. So what I mean by that is like if you're on the go, you can still stream your services, you can still stream your songs, and you can still listen to your music and stuff by having an iPod versus bringing your phone with you. Now, there's a couple ways I could see Apple doing this, okay? Now, it seems kind of dumb, and it is kind of, but there's some merit to it too. I mean... I bring up the kid example. I mean, there's a lot of kids out there that really don't need to have phones yet. I mean, they're like young, they don't really need it, but maybe they want to listen to music. You know, maybe they want to listen to their favorite pop star, Ariana Grande or something. Okay, I don't know. They can go ahead and do that with the iPod Touch. And I kind of bring up the Kindle, the first gen Kindle. This is the craziest thing ever. That Kindle was able to get, I think, free 2G data, free 3G data, some really slow data type. It was able to get that for free and go on the internet and everything. It was mostly for downloading books on the go, but it was completely free. I don't know if that 3G data is still, or 2G data, I don't know what it is. I don't know if that's still applicable now, like many, many years later, but that's pretty crazy that that device many, many years ago was able to do something like that. And Amazon was able to give free data to those devices. So maybe Apple can make an iPod touch that looks like an iPhone 10, still has Face ID, maybe around like a 5.5 inch, 5 inch screen, somewhere around there, probably in the same body as an iPod Touch. Emphasize the streaming part, I know I say that all the time, by possibly having built in data on those iPods for only streaming service purposes. I'll give you an example with T Mobile, they actually offer free data to the streaming services, Spotify, SoundCloud, whatever. Now, you do have to have a data plan in order to have it activated, but the actual streaming of the SoundCloud, Spotify songs does not take away from the fast data that you are given that month. So maybe Apple could do something where you connect your service plan to your iCloud account or something like that and have it associated with your iPod Touch. That way you can use that data plan wirelessly through maybe an eSIM or something, I don't know and stream it from the iPod Touch without actually having to have a SIM card in there or something like that. And that's a huge thing that I could see them doing and if they really want to start pushing out Apple Music like crazy, that's a huge thing they could do. And and kind of going on with that, maybe if they offer like free Apple Music for the life of the device for iPod Touches, that would probably increase the sales of it too. That's kind of a huge theory of mine, but I feel like iPods are probably going to get phased out, but I still think there's some hope I still think they could do something pretty crazy. I mean, this is a pretty bold step, and a lot of you guys might think, like, what's the point of that? What's the point of even the free streaming or whatever? They would end up losing money. Nobody would buy it. But I think it's more so of them kind of pushing people to sign up to their streaming services. I think that's where the money's at right now. The money's not necessarily at, you know, the the storage of the devices. Nobody wants, like, a 500 gigabyte iPod Touch anymore, but I think people would take free streaming of Apple Music wirelessly through your car or something like that. If you want to go for a run, you can bring your iPod Touch. Hey, I'm good with Apple Music, things like that. And we've seen that with the Apple Watch Series 3. You're able to get a data plan for it. And I think they might be able to do the same thing with the iPod Touch. And that's a very niche thing. A lot of people only want to give their iPod Touches to their kids or something like that. And I totally understand that. I think that's a a very applicable time to give an iPhone or iPod or whatever to a, a kid or something because they're not going to really care but I do see a lot of people giving their kids, you know, their old phones or whatever. So pretty much what I'll say is, is that I kind of talked more so about software here and the idea of the iPod Touch 7 Gen. Do I think it's going to come out? Probably not. Do I think there's a possibility that it could? Possibly. So it's kind of like 50-50, like I said, maybe it's made like 70-30, but I don't think all hope is lost. Even if it ends at the iPod Touch 6 Gen, I think that's a pretty decent spot, but You've seen a lot of the mock-ups that I did of it. I think it could look like what I'm showing on the screen if it were to be released. It would definitely have Face ID. I don't think it would have an earpiece at all because it's not a phone, but you could still do FaceTime calls obviously off it and everything. It would have the notch. It would have things like that. No headphone jack, which kind of sucks, which also kind of gives me another theory of mine. If it doesn't have a headphone jack, 
they could make a lot more sales on AirPods if they emphasize the music aspect of it because the iPod Touch 6th gen still has a headphone jack and I'm sure they're still selling some. So if they sold the iPod Touch 7th generation, they could make a lot of money off the accessories as well. Maybe even if they sell the AirPods 2 at the time, they could bundle up the original AirPods and the iPod Touch 7th gen and maybe sell them together and make a lot more money. Maybe make a little bit less money, but more sales, something along those lines. And I feel like kind of tying it back to the beginning of the video as well, the more products that they release, Potentially, as long as they don't go over demand and create way more products than they need to and they control the amount that they make and make as many as they need to sell, I think they could definitely make a decent amount of money by producing more products. So I think 2019 could be the year that Apple releases tons and tons of products and we get to do a ton of reviews and I would love to see an iPod Touch 7 Gen is the end of the world if it doesn't get released. No, it's not, but it'd be really nice if they could do it and I think they could sell a lot more accessories with it too and that's pretty much where I'm going to leave it at guys. This was kind of all over the place, but like I said, I would love to see one and, and I would love to bring more attention to it if I could, but that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions or anything like that, leave it down in the comment section below. Definitely hit that like button, but please hit that subscribe button. Every single subscriber we get really does count, so it don't mean so much if you guys could hit that. Also, don't forget, I'm still giving away another iPhone SE. I just gave one away a couple days ago. I have to give this one away too. If you want to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is click the first link in the description. I'm giving it away December 28th, so you have until now, till December 28th, if you're watching this after, I'm sorry. But it's super easy to enter. Watch that video. It's completely free, and it'll explain exactly how to answer. But definitely check out the other links down in the description as well, my Twitter, my Instagram, my second channel. All those links are linked down below. I would really, really appreciate it if you guys could go and check it out. But more importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.